does not have a very good reputation among state troopers. And yeah, how come? You you said that uh, there could be a story. Of yeah, that, you the know. Indiana State Police protects the governor, right? That's yep. their job. We have a whole unit for that. And a Deservedly of, so. Yeah, sure. And a friend of mine. Wow, that sounded like a no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go <laughs> behind the badge. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, hit that behind the badge music real quick. Mm-hmm. Fips. <laughs> Having a day. Oh, I had to turn the volume down because I faded you out from the iPad. <laughs> yeah, I know what you did. Behind the badge? I'm turning it up right now. <laughs> How many buttons? How it's, many a, clicks? it's a lot of clicks. <laughs> All right. Behind the badge. All right, stop. You're saying the governor doesn't deserve security? Well, I just think it's a little overdone. Oh, I like that. I, mean, I like this. This is real talk. Like here. who? First of all, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck about a governor? Not People one. aren't out <laughs> putting hits on governors. <laughs> When's the last time you heard about a governor getting assassinated? That Never? is a very good question, actually. Yeah, yeah. that's well, like the mayor. Only like the, shooter. Shooter was the only time. That uh, that's like the mayor here in Indianapolis. Boy, he's yeah. Pat slow. and I read a thing, and they were talking about the mayor has like twelve people around him at all times. Bro, nobody Cops. knows you're the fucking mayor. Yeah. Cause <laughs> <Dotson. laughs> I couldn't even tell you who our mayor is. Dotson, we got Dotson. <laughs> here. See, nobody cares. All right, so what happened with the state so, police? So, Governor, you know, he has a whole detail, and uh, not only that, the governor's wife gets a detail. Mm-hmm. It's smaller, granted, they do scale it down, but uh, this Pence's wife wanted uh, a female, because there was a little bit of the last governor thing. There was a little... Uh, yeah, I'll detail about. with Having governor's a guy wife. on the girl, on a, on a female, but it didn't work out, last governor. So this governor's wife. The previous governor's wife had sex with the, the cop? There was just some kind of little scandal, some accusations made. It just Whether or not they were true, who never Claire who Underwood. A lot Claire of time Underwood. Spent a lot of time spent together. That's what happened in uh, House of Cards. Yeah. But Pence, so I thought Pence has made a good move. Like, well, let's just alleviate any rumors whatsoever, mm-hmm. and let's just have a f- female protecting the first lady. Yep. So uh, they used my, my friend, um, and she... She was just uh, she was working the road before that, and they, they pulled her off to to guard the first lady, and she she was pretty mean to her. Like she she would just uh, she would make her stand outside her door, you know, no place to sit. Sometimes you know, never worried about if she was going to get uh, lunch. She'd be out there for hours, whatever. And then she would have to drive her. She would want to go to the mall. So one time she drives her to the mall, and she just gets out and goes inside. So she's just sitting out there in her car, just waiting to pick her up when she's done. She's waiting and waiting and waiting, and hours go by, and she's like, oh, shit, um, I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, I think I lost the first lady. <laughs> like, So she starts to panic and starts calling people. She's like, hey, I don't know where the first lady is. She's supposed to come out, but she hasn't come out, and then she's way overdue. I don't know what's going on. So people start to panic and start making phone calls. Come and find out. Finally, they call the governor or some, somebody in the, with the governor, and they're like, oh, no, she called somebody else to pick her up. Didn't let her know at all. Uh, Set her in full panic mode. I'm going to lose my job. Just a complete power trip. And if I want to understand, that, that just happened quite often. Like, you would just never know if she was going to come out or not. Now, what is the – so, like, the usage of taxpayers' dollars is the gigantic thing on both sides, right? Right. So, depending on which administration is in, which side of the political spectrum you're on, mm-hmm. you always bitch about taxpayers' dollars going somewhere. Right. Is that state taxpayer dollars? No, that's not federal, right? They don't right, state. So, mm-hmm. that's state taxpayer dollars just going to that full-time thing. And the lack of caring for it is what the big issue is, right? Yeah. I think, and plus, just, you know, you don't have to be friends with the state trooper. By all means, that's their job. They're getting paid to protect you. But if you're together for but seven, eight hours a day. Be a human, right? Yeah. At least, like, hey, are you, you thirsty? You need something? You know, you get, you want to go send somebody to get you some water, or maybe a sandwich or something. You've been standing outside my door for hours. None of that ever. It's just not a good look. It's just not a good look. It looks Every- like you're wasting money. Well, yeah, just, oh, I don't care. I'm just going to let her way out, wait another. Well, and outside of that, fundamentally, if you give that little about mm-hmm. other Humans. people, a period, Someone yeah, that how close much to do you care about things on a bigger scale? Hold on, though. What about cops, though, too? Like, this isn't just a, a human. This is a cop, somebody mm-hmm. that signed up to protect. I mean, that's a... Somebody may have to take a bullet for you because you know how scary it is being the governor's <laughs> wife. <laughs> <laughs> so many people coming at you all the time. I'll tell you what, though. A quick way to get all of Indiana, conservatives included... The quick way to piss them off is mm-hmm. to disrespect Peyton fucking Manning. Yeah. And that's how a lot of people were viewing it. I mean, yeah. it was it was obvious. I'm cool with them saying, don't disrespect our anthem, don't mm-hmm. disrespect our flag, don't disrespect. I'm cool with that. I'm on that same side. I, I don't like it. I'm not for it either. I'm for them being able to do it. 
I'm for guys being able to speak like that. That's our country. That's awesome. That's right. what our country is. Mm -hmm. But I am not about making it a bullshit political stunt, especially on the guy that I used to be friends with. Now I hate. Dead. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I'm happy that got over. Yeah. With. Uh, what else happened in the world? Anything awesome? McDonald's is testing the McVegan out in Europe. Oh, oh stop fuck. it. A soy-based burger patty. Keep it in Europe. So it's like lunch at high school or whatever. Huh? What? The soy burgers, whatever you ate when you were in junior high and oh, high school. Oh, you went to California. You went to California. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't have no soy yeah. burgers. You said all well, beef, man. Oh, you guys had all beef? Look at you thugs. <laughs> America. Oh, they might be part. I, don't know, I feel Listen, like there was some soy. We went to school in America, Sean. Yeah. You did not. Obviously, if you were getting served soy burgers in 1984. Seriously. <laughs> what? Well, okay. Well, we didn't even, even know what soy was. I, well, we knew there was soybean fields, but we didn't know you could make food out of it. No clue. I'm being 100% serious. Yeah. My first hearing of soy milk was the Santa Claus when Tim Allen drank it in that kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even know it existed. Great movie. Great fucking movie. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. It's almost Santa Claus season. But let's stop skipping Thanksgiving. Okay? I yes. Agree. I, I agree. Would not, no, I would not. Yeah. Like, it's Canadian Thanksgiving today, or yesterday, which is weird. So I don't know. They just kind of, they, <laughs> the did, they, they did, did it the before Pilgrims us? go there, too, or Yeah, no? I don't know how they, but it's. It was the, Inuits. It was the Vikings. It wasn't Inuits. the Indians. Will you, Pat, will you try to get Tim Allen to come on? I'm a big huh? fucking fan of him. <laughs> I watched uh, every I feel single like it episode. I, I love Home Improvement. Home Improvement was my shit. Yeah. Every J episode. JT Thomas, what a handsome son of a bitch. Mm. He lived. That yeah. older one, Brad, kind of a loser. Yeah. yeah. I didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> so was the younger one. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't remember. the Which one was he? Mark. Younger? Mark, yeah. Mark. Uh, he was like the, the mama's boy, little smart kid. Yeah, no, like but then he definitely went to in that Slipknot phase. Yeah, he became yeah. a goth. Yeah. Well, you knew he kids like him are never going to make it as adult actors because the reason they're such good uh, kid actors is he's, he was like 27 and playing 12. Yeah. He had that young look where he's never going to grow. He had a pituitary grand. The Vibber. The Vibber. Yeah. <laughs> Vibber could play a kid. Yeah. I can Vibber. Make, wait, whoa. I can make millions of dollars acting. <laughs> I'm, surprised, <laughs> I'm surprised Vibbert hasn't gotten a holding deal with Nickelodeon. It's legit. <laughs> How have you not? You, you are a very much an adult who could very easily pass for a 14 or a 15-year-old. Yeah. I can't sing. Every, uh, every kid on those things can sing. I can't sing. I can't dance. <laughs> oh, man. Justin Timberlake. He uh -huh. came through the Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse Club, Club with yeah. Britney Spears. I bet she can't sing either, so. Wow. Maybe you have a chance. Oh, stop it. Oh, low blow, buddy. You should think about maybe walking out of the studio. Britney hey. Spears. <laughs> Diggs is on this juice he's cleanse, awesome. and he's been mean <laughs> all day. Yeah, he's, he's on this vegan high snob, high... No, yeah, low, no. Yeah, you are highbrow looking down at everybody. No, I'm not. Are you pro... Are, are we, we can't forget about the, what McDonald's is doing. I mean, oh, this, yeah. this, what are, I mean, this is our so the childhood. The what are they doing? The McDonald's by me is becoming very modern. They got rid of all the red and yellow, and now it's a completely gray outfit. What? <sighs> True story. It, it took them like a month and a half to remodel it. I was like, oh, Why? are they fixing the play place? Okay. <laughs> and no, <laughs> they eliminated all the color. Now it's just gray. It's like very modern looking McDonald's. Play place is still in there, though, by the way, just if you want to. You know, maybe get some AIDS or something from the ball pit. <laughs> but yeah, I think McDonald's is going through this era of change right now. They're trying to reach a new demographic. I, I don't like it either. Just stick to the fat demographic. Like, that's a good demographic. Yeah. There's a lot of people there. Never going away. Never. Well, we, we're not going to like it. We're too old to enjoy that change. Like your grandma just turning into like a hipster when she's 80. <laughs> it's like when the WWE went to PG. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's when they went to PG and they cashed in. I assume McDonald's is going to make a lot more money now. I yeah. assume they're going to. I don't make know. Will they? It, it feels like if you're good at something, stick to it. Mm -hmm. And then they tried to change and cater to a whole other audience. You know audience. what, though? Coca-Cola did that change, and I think they're thriving right now. They were super red state, all about America, bang, and then they turned into like a progressive modern. They changed their completely method of marketing, and I think that's probably yeah, working the, for them. Yeah, but it still tastes the same. It's still Coke. Well, McDonald's is still going to taste McDonald's. It's going to well, be a, a greasy ass soy burger. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> but uh, I will say, I mean, McDonald's has to be hurting, or else they would have never backed down. On their breakfast rule law that's been forever, 1031, go fuck yourself. I was so angry at that. So uh, angry. It's the every, worst. Every, every day you wake up, 10, 15, you're like, fuck, do I have enough time? <laughs> I don't think I have enough time. Hungover in college? Mm -hmm. All right, I think I can make it. I got a seven-minute walk. Maybe if I jog a little bit, I can make it before. Th you ever been there when they were changing the menu? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right in front of my face. Mm -hmm. Biggest insult ever. Uh, right in front, like, because it. Somebody had to walk out and roll them sometime. Yep. So a McDonald's employee would walk out while I'm sitting there staring at the microphone, waiting for them to say, how can I help you so I can get in real quick to Egg McMuffin's place? 
<laughs> two egg McMuffins. <laughs> Excuse me, I like two egg McMuffins, the standard ass egg McMuffins. I want the, the Canadian bacon, which is actually just ham, and I want that good ass fucking egg, and I want that muffin right there. And I also like uh, two hash brown thingies because they taste good. And if it's Monopoly, you better give me the fucking peel off winner on that fucking hash brown. <laughs> and instead, this lady <laughs> takes out her fucking little rolling thing and just changes it to lunch. Mm. Like, no more breakfast. I'm like, well, I don't want to make chicken at fucking 10 30. <laughs> 10.30s and 30 seconds, lady. How did they. Yo, I'm for sure the guy that just ordered lunch right there. I was like, fuck it. Not me. No way. You're going to do that? You're going to let them do that in your face? I don't like think that? you realize how lazy I am. Yikes. You got to make a statement because you know she has discretion. There's still shit laying out. That yes. She could hand out. Why is that, though? Why, why was the change? Why did they do that? Because they had different bro- broilers or grillers, or what was it? Like, yeah, why? I mean, I get they got to change part of the kitchen equipment, but there's you pulled up 30 seconds afterward. There's shit laying up there in the heat, under the heat lamp. This is just classic bouncer at a club. This is their <laughs> moment. This is their moment of power. They love it. Just like when you're a governor, you yeah. get that moment of power and do whatever the hell you want. <laughs>